Welcome back to the Rebirth. Our expedition to the snow biome in search of shock immune zombies was unsuccessful, but we shall return soon. For now though, there's more pressing matters at hand. Hordeite. And we still have a lot of work to do to prepare, like carving out grenade chutes, setting up shotgun turrets, and steel upgrades, among many others. So we're gonna head back to the base to get things ready, then fend off the horde the best we can. And if we survive, I'm sure we'll be picking up the pieces for the next day or two. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time. All right, I know I said that we were gonna hunt shock immune zombies out here, but then I realized in between episodes that there is a ton of work yet to do back at the base. So right now we're just gonna fly home. Is this the right road? It is the right road. We're gonna fly home. We've got uh, building to do, crafting to do, construction, electrical work. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I've neglected that has to be done. But first, get that loot bag over there. Oh, nice steel helmet and some good beer for drinking. Ow, whoa, geez, getting shot. Come on, guys, help me out here. There you go. Off to a rough start, not to mention the fact that I'm infected and radiated and I've got a broken arm. <laughs> yeah, it's time to go home. I'll meet you there. All right, back home, Prussian blue, honeycomb, and plaster cast. Funny, we're kind of running out of those things. What a surprise, right? <laughs> not really. Okay, first thing to get out of the way is... Crafting these shotgun turrets. Yes, shotgun auto turrets. Tell me I've got enough to make two of these. I don't, what am I missing? Uh, nothing. I think it's just one of those weird things where you can't craft them in chunks. You have to craft them individually. Oh yeah, look at that AP 760 right there. By the way, I've learned a lot about um, the high power ammo. Apparently high power ammo increases your uh, like dismemberment chance and so if you're doing headshots you can get um you know insta kills basically with those so it might be worth looking into some of that stuff maybe you use the uh, ap for horde night but the high power for uh, like day to day oh by the way this here has gotta go because guess what it's not bulletproof i was completely wrong oh geez why do i do this to myself okay so it after all that We've just got to use the bars, I think. It could be bars or railings, but I think bars are probably the least obstructive block that we could put here that is also symmetrical. Oh, uh, there's one more shape potentially that we could use. This one, the pillar 0.025 meter double. Okay, is this bulletproof? I don't think it is. Nope, no it's not. So that's junk. The bars, however, are bulletproof. No bullets are gonna hit that, so it's not gonna obstruct any field of fire from the trainers. And hopefully, are you gonna be in the way again? Oh, come on, come on. Give it, give it, give it to me right now. Oh, yes, there we go. Okay, I've, I've got some ideas on how to kind of fix this up a little bit. We will get to that eventually. That's just not, we, we're, we're only doing like critical functions here uh, before the horde. The, the, the next thing here was like uh, structural integrity goggles because when I did that, the last time I showed you guys a view and there was a real big problem. One of the support columns is not connected to bedrock right now. And I think it's this one right here. Yeah, look at that. We've got yellow on the main support column, which means uh, one of the blocks underneath it has been destroyed. So I've got to dig down there and figure out what's going on and fix it. Ah, there it is right there. Yeah, there's just a missing shape there. That was actually probably a concrete or steel block at some point, and it just got totally destroyed. Let's see if I can fix that up to steel, and then we'll just embed in another steel block underneath it, since this is just a high volume area, and that should be good now. Let's just double check. Yeah, now this one's broken, but we're gonna fix that in two seconds. I'm going to use a concrete block there. And then I'll probably just put some topsoil blocks in down there. Can I just get a couple of those? Yeah, topsoil, just give me, uh, can I just get like three of those offhand? One, two, three, that should be good now, double check. Yes, we are A-OK -okay down here now. Man, good thing for those goggles. <laughs> what a, just an amazing idea that was. I love that so much. Okay, we're gonna plug the shotgun turrets in here and we're gonna put, uh, well, we have the SMG turrets up there. However, these are not properly protected, so I need to rip out these edges. We're gonna just repeat what we did downstairs. Are you kidding me? No, no. Stupid bandit raid. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm just gonna let him run up to the front and die. That didn't take long. Oh crap, I fell off the base and sprained my leg. 
Oh, do you have any good stuff on you? Oh, nice. Yep, scope and some parts. Plenty of steroids. Okay, so these are done out here. The next project is, yeah, we gotta just sort, sort something out real quickly here just to make a rooftop for this. I think naturally we'll just knock that out and... Do I want to maybe knock this strip out here as well? Okay, that should provide maximum visibility down here. I would even maybe argue that we've got to go one further. Just rip out one more layer on each side. Okay, that's it for that. Do I maybe want to knock out this last piece here? Uh, I think it's going to look weird if I don't, so... Okay, hopefully nothing collapses here. One more layer on each side. Okay, and the reason we're doing that is because I want to put some sort of a like a beveled block in there. Kind of like this right here. I, I don't know if I like this as like the best option though. It's like alternatively we can do wedge 60s yeah, again, just like this. I, Cause I just think that this would look better than it. Cause like those, um, the ramp blocks, they have such a, like a pointy edge that I don't know. It just doesn't look realistic to me. All right, I'm going to go with these. It's the same system that we did up there basically. So if anything, at least it'll match. Okay, there it is. And then the last step here is going to be, see, I don't like necessarily how that looks there, but uh, I'm going to, I'm going to live with it. Right. The last step is just to put in like a security gate or anything here for a rooftop so that uh, the trainers can shoot up toward wraiths uh, together with the SMG turrets up here, like the hammer and the anvil, basically. There we go. That's it. They are better protected, and we've got a barrier between us and skeletons and whatever else rains down on us from the wraiths. Okay, next step is I want to make grenade shoots, and um, I think I'm going to try something different. Usually I do like a hatch and you open the hatch, but I think I just want to have like open... I don't know what you call them. Let me just show you what I have in mind. Okay, so now after we have these massive holes dug into the base, there was also an airdrop there a second ago. Where did that go? It dropped in the POI next door to the one that completely burned down the last time we were over there. Not important right now. So what I want to do here is, okay, there's a specific shape, this one. <laughs> Wedge 60 slope corners, man, I mean, this, this is just like the wedge 60 base. We could just name it that. Whoops, pay attention here. That's more like it. So this is gonna be a grenade shoot. We can just toss grenades right down there. I think the threat of zombies that can shoot is relatively low in this mod. Like if I was playing vanilla late game, I'd be worried about radiated cops, but you don't see so many of those because they've been replaced by demons and seekers and whatever else so what we can do on the top here to make sure that i don't fall down there is grab a diagonal rail and just make sure that i orient it correctly so that the corners kind of line up just like that and then um when the time comes i've actually crafted 50 regular grenades upstairs you could just um huck grenades right down there they'll fall right down and they should land pretty much like right here so if anyone's beating on the supports we can kind of blow them up. If it doesn't work, that's fine. We can just tear them out and re replace them next time. I don't think it's gonna be any sort of a major malfunction for today. What's next? Of course, okay, let's put the shotgun turrets in and set those up and then we'll get everything loaded and connected to power. Okay, we've got, <laughs> we're getting a, quite a mess now of electrical. I mean, at least it looks okay. This goes to blade traps, right? So this can go to uh, turrets, I guess. Okay, and then shotgun turrets, sneak them right in here. And I've done testing before where I tested to see, like, how long a shotgun turret can last on Horde Knight. And with, like, the default 900 rounds, it's basically all night. 900 rounds is enough, even if they're firing all night long. They, it's very close, but they'll pretty much, they'll last. So with the, you know, 1500 sure plus another 400 there, it should be fine. Should That should last us. And we'll have ammo left over for the next Horde Knight. And just turn those on and double check. Yep, this is the view that they're gonna get. We'll just aim them right to the middle. All right, that's the look right there. Hopefully this works. I've never actually put a security gate in front of a turret, but I've seen other people do stuff like that, so I'm just assuming that it's going to work. All right, the last step is to just do base upgrades and repairs and make sure that we're using all the steel that we can. I'm just gonna go grab the resources, even though I can use them from out here, just so I can see like how much I have left. So we should have plenty of that stuff. We should have plenty of cobble 
And where is the steel? We don't have very much steel, but I think the rest of it's just hanging out over here. Oh yeah, 1,200 there and another 300 there. Puts us up to 1,873 steel. All right, that's the last couple pieces, just replacing some of the railing pieces that are on the front here. I don't think that there's much left to do. Of course, we could do this right here. I don't think that would hurt anything. I'm gonna slide these in here just in case and um, upgrade them. I, I'm gonna leave, nah, what do you think? Yeah, let's we'll, just take them right up to steel. How much steel do I have left? 67. On second thought, I'm gonna save that 67 for repair and that'll just go up to concrete for now, just as a little trial run. And I think what I'll also do is I'll take this, um, whatever this is called here, and uh, just string that all the way across and same deal for now. Ooh. That one there should be steel. The rest of them could just be concrete for today. I burned through all of that. Who is this? Ah, bandit. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. He fucking killed me. He totally one-shotted me. Oh, my God. You bastard, man. Are you guys, can you guys handle that for me? Holy crap, I gotta get my stuff before the horde gets here. Is he dead? Oh my God, if I jump down there and die again, <laughs> I'm just gonna Alt F4 for real. All right, where was he? Oh, there's his bag right there. Holy crap, yeah, I was not expecting that. I had like 100 hit points left. He must have just point blank headshotted me. Off to a tremendous start this evening, my friends. Thank you for all your support. <laughs> all right, well, buttoned up back here in safety. I got the whole floor done, or at least most of it. See, this is actually an important piece right here. That's a support pillar. Yep, fix that, and um, we'll do the rest of the upgrades later. I think I'm looking really good. Actually, I used a lot of concrete mix. Wow, okay. So we're just gonna have to focus more on resource collection ne next week. What's new, right? Is there another bandit raid here? Are you guys kidding me? These guys are relentless. Oh, whatever, leave them to it. I'm gonna get these lights hooked up. Yeah, that sounds like it was it. Somebody shot me from somewhere, so I'm like getting my ass kicked here today. I was hearing them get sliced up a little bit on the blade traps too, so I think that's working out well. All right, let's get down here into position and close the door behind us. I've brought with me today over 3,000 rounds of AP 762. I've got all of my skeleton warriors. We got one tier four. I got a whole 36 tier threes and 17 tier twos. I don't even think we'll get through half of those. I have two mind control brews to help out with the, uh, you know, converting zombies. However, we still can't convert the radiateds. We're stuck with only the ferals and who knows how many ferals we're gonna see tonight. Probably not very many. But anyway, the... Oh my God, there's a seeker here already. Yep, definitely a seeker here already. Take him out. And his loot bag is probably out there. I'm gonna go grab it just, just for now, just so I know it doesn't despawn. Here we go. Give me the goods. And, uh, how do I get back in the base without chopping myself? I gotta go around. Anyway, my friends, the day 40 horde is fast approaching, so it is time to lock and load. My friends, the horde is almost upon us. Let me out of here because I'm hearing some real nasty noises up here. Oh my god, here we go. We've got wraiths on the rooftop and I lost them. Does that mean he's dead? I might just have to fight from up here tonight. I'm not sure. Let's head back downstairs though. It's getting really heavy over here. Oh boy! Get a seeker in the base! Seeker in the base! Not good! Take him out! Oh, he's gonna blow. He's gonna blow. Look out! Nope, we got him down. Oh, that would help if I closed the doors. Okay, so far, no rampage, just seekers. Holy crap, there's a lot of seekers here. Um, why are there so many seekers? Just lay into them with the AP rounds. Hopefully that will do the trick. I think we've lost all of the blade traps already. Nope, the ones on the stairs, 
A few of them, anyway, are intact. I do get the impression that the AP rounds are working pretty well, though. Let me get some, um, support outside real fast. Also, I want my mercenaries down, but I'm, I'm not exactly sure where to put them, where they can get out of the base. Here, let's try out here and just maybe survey the damage a little bit as well here. Insert- Whoa, what happened there? Oh my god! What was that? Some kind of a bird attacked me and like really hurt me. Holy crap, man. I am infected. Here, throw, close that door. I'm not going out there again. Oh look, spiders do jump their way up here. It's a good thing we put that fence in. Wow, wow. Okay, it's just nothing but seekers on this freaking battle. I hear another wraith though. I hear him, but I don't see him. Oh, you hear that? Tell me. Are you in the base? He's in the frickin' base! And then, he, and then he vanished. Oh, it would definitely help if I put a ceiling in here, wouldn't it? Oh, jeez. Mistakes are being made here. I'm gonna just plug this rooftop here real fast. Okay, that's done. I think our skeleton warrior is dead. So I'm gonna huck another one out the window. Or into the window. <laughs> Either way. All right, we're back downstairs with the crew here. Things are looking okay so far. I can see that a, a couple of these hatches are degraded a little bit. Just keep firing into the mass here. The, the bullets are bound to hurt somebody, and they're armor-piercing too, so they'll hurt somebody behind them as well. Ah, crap, I'm not able to get the headshots that we need in order to get the rampage going. I've, I'm too busy dealing with the Seekers, and uh, we're only two hours through the night, so hopefully these two positions we're currently fighting in the two middle positions. We'll move to the two lateral positions if we have to. Oh, I like the skeletons. They're purple now. Nice. That, that looks really cool, actually. Yep, all of the blade traps are just completely disappeared now. They're gone for good. That, it was a nice thought, I guess, but it's not gonna work. Not gonna do very much. Holy crap. Okay, we gotta try out the grenade shoot and see if there's any... I don't even think there's any people down there. I'll just throw a couple of grenades and... Yeah, I can see some zombies down there. There you go. Have that. Try a couple over here on this side. Just chuck a couple down. Oh my god, my face! Oh, and all my mercenaries got hurt too. That was super bad. <laughs> I think that was just a chain reaction of uh, grenades that just blew up in my face there. Wow, things are looking pretty good here. And I think we're about halfway through. Let's um transfer them to the lateral doorways. There we go. Are these turrets working at all? Have I miscalculated and these uh, these things are being blocked? I'm going to rip this off here real quick and see if these will start shooting. They're not shooting right now. Does that help? No, no, they're, they're not shooting at all. Why aren't, why aren't these shooting? Oh, I had to turn it on target strangers. I guess maybe these are not zombies. They are, um, I don't know. There we go. It's working now, though. Yeah, you gotta target strangers, not just target zombies. Which makes me think probably the SMG turrets have to have the same thing done. I turned them off target strangers. Uh, this is about as good of a chance as any to get some headshots in because it's just regular zombies all over the place here. I think we got regular demos here now too. I Yep, I can definitely see regular demos out there. Really, the least of my concerns right now, although they can do a lot of damage. All right, I gotta take a little bit of a break and see what all this growling is about upstairs because it can't be good. Yeah, here we go. Here he is. He's, um, is he dead? Did I kill him? There's a guy. Oh, got another one here. Yep, it's working. Here, while I'm up here, I just gotta turn these on to target strangers because I don't think that they're doing anything. Nope, they're not, they haven't fired around all night. Oh, jeez. Exploding cop somewhere. 
Owen. That was dank. Just getting rocked. Hobie. Ho Hobie's gone. Hobie. Oh no. I I've lost Hobie. I think they someone must have reached in here and grabbed him or something. Maybe he maybe he ran out. I'm not sure, but Hobie is gone. Oh, there's Hobie right there. Hobie, get back in here. Come on, man. Grab him, grab him. Are you dead? Follow me. Bring him back in here. Oh my god, Hobie. Uh stay where I'm standing. Holy crap, man. He was just on a heroic mission outside. Wow. All right, we're in the home stretch now, the final hour. Ah, corpulent in the base, kill. Ah, something happened to me. I'm getting electrocuted, help. Oh my God, it's Fisher Girl in the base. Die, dead, dead, we're good. I'm still sitting on about a thousand rounds of AP ammunition, so really what I want to do is, oh no, my gun's broken. Never mind. Um, I was going to say get as many kills as I possibly can, but I think it's all up to my allies at this point. I have to just drop a few grenades out of here, nice and carefully. I'm not even going to, like, pre-charge. Just, you know, pull the pin, toss it, only one at a time. Just keep dropping them down there. Bound to do something, eventually. Honestly, we're not really getting any traffic up here anymore, which is potentially very bad news. Okay, I'm gonna have to get a weapon repair kit because it's about to crack dawn and I'm gonna have to run down there and sort out whatever the heck's going on. Okay, no, we've got we've got zombies coming up here now. Uh, they're just all acting weird, I guess. What's new, really? Who is that guy? Did you see that guy? That guy had some super muscles. There's another seeker down there. Holy crap, man. Okay, it is morning, so at this point... Be careful, because, you know, screamers are coming, basically. All right, pieces of the base are collapsing. I am starting to see little chunks falling down. It, I don't know if it's too bad yet, though. I can hear screamers screaming. We've, we're definitely in the loop now. Some of these Seekers have, like, 7k hit points. A little bit crazy. Let's get a distraction zombie out there. Or in here, either way. All right, I guess he teleported somewhere. And they're all... Oh my god, we've lost all the doors up here. That's the problem we have right now. Okay, so I need to... Um... Oh my god, look at the damage they did out here. Wow. Oh my god, they are carving through the, the, the pillars, which is not good. Um, yeah, this is holy crap bad. That horde absolutely could tear down the base. Probably. No problem. I, and the, the cop car is, has been flipped over. The corpulents are going to destroy it. Okay. Um, I'm going to string them out as best I can and just try to Molotov the screamers to death. Get me some Red Bull. And we got to fly, man. We got to get out of here. We got to string these zombies out. Hope that some of them despawn and hope that the rest of them die or follow me away from the base before it collapses. Okay, all the Seekers, many of them at least, are over there. I don't see any more zombies back at the base. I don't hear gunfire there anymore. Oh, crap. All right, I'm just gonna backpedal and shoot. If I can get them lined up, I can use the armor-piercing ammunition to my advantage. If I could just get a rampage right now, I could take care of all of these zombies. Nope, it won't let me have it. Ow! Got a seeker over here. I'll just take that loot bag while I'm right here. Thank you. Okay, yes. I can still hear a whole bunch of seekers. I think they're inside the movie theater. Let's start thinking about, uh, whoa, birds. Ah, get out of here. Jeez, use more bullets on the birds than I do see. Oh my God, the fires. Yeah, I think all the seekers are in here now. Okay, I can, uh, I can work with that potentially. Any snacks in here? Sure, some coffee. Oh, screamer. Yep, here we go again. Screamers screaming everywhere. All right, get rid of Sergeant Five Ton there. Grab up the money. Who's this? Anthony Garcia, take him out. I've leveled up in tactical rifles. That's something at least. Okay, that one's down. Take this loot bag. One more, maybe, and that would be it, hopefully. Focusing on the headshots. <laughs> no more bullets. Take that! 
Holy crap, what a way to close things out. I do think that that's probably it. However, wow, there's just a massive, massive fire going on over there. Oh, that's where all the screamers were coming from, is the fire. Okay, so I'm gonna make a wide loop around the, uh, the, the movie theater there to get back home. In fact, let's just go check on the garden. It, it, why is there a seeker over here now? What the heck? He's fighting a wolf. Here. Fight a skeleton warrior as well. And while I'm at it, send, oh, I was gonna say send in the mercenaries, but I cannot. Yeah, just fight the skeleton. And why are my things not grown? It's actually been a long time since I was here. It was supposed to be ready on day 38. And uh, everything is still growing. Oh man, I wonder if this is like a chunk loading issue. Yeah, nothing up here is done. Oh boy, that is um, very discouraging. All the work we put into the garden here, everything is set up properly, and it appears as though if you're not on the chunk, it just doesn't work. All right, I do have some ammo. I have some regular 762, but I'm kind of keen. Uh, that's Z-Bark. Z-Bark, can you please come down here? I'm kind of keen with uh, only 4,400 hit points here. Let's just see if I can melee this one down, limit the amount of heat that we're generating. There we go. Wait for the attack, and then, oh! It's, oh, it's hard for me to get the headshots. Maybe not, maybe I can reach, I didn't think I could reach up there. It's kind of working. I don't feel like the uh, AOE is very severe on their, um, on their attack. I don't think that, ow, ooh, that hurts. There we go, got him. Okay, grab that final bit of loot there, and let's get out of here. Let's go home and start picking up loot bags. Okay, the good news is, the base is still standing. Oh, the ramp, it took so much damage. Oh boy, yes, we need to get that fixed and uh, upgraded. Um, support pillars looking relatively good. I'm gonna go grab the glasses here after I pick up all this loot and we're gonna check the structural integrity. But for now, focus on the, the best loot bags. Get all the good loot out. We'll go through it and uh, hopefully none of it will despawn. Okay, so <laughs> duh, some bad things happened for sure during that horde night. Whoop, one more loot bag here. More money. Wow, I'm really eager to see how much money we have now. How much? How much? Uh, let's just start st quick stacking stuff away and we'll start going through uh, what we got for money. Oh, look at the money right now. Oh my god, we're up to $44,000. All right, anyway, here's a look at the cell chest and it's just completely stacked with stuff. I'm gonna just have to slowly go through some of this stuff and make sure that uh, if there's anything better than what we're using that it's replaced. Get a new fire axe. Got a new pickaxe, and in terms of schematics, the drone armor plating mod, the gyrocopter chassis, the full auto mod, dynamite, and we can sell the rest. We did get another 1911, we did get a plasma baton, which I think looks a lot like the one in Darkness Falls. No, it doesn't, it looks a lot different. That is pretty cool though. Definitely not up my alley in terms of this playthrough, but uh, I can sell it for a couple hundred dollars. Got a significantly better military vest. And otherwise, I think we're all clear for a massive sell-off. All right, last little thing here, BDU top. That puts us up to a grand total of $60,000. Wow. Right, well, I've got a whole bunch of money. We've got two options with it. We can, number one, wait and save it for the helicopter, which by the way, I think we're gonna need the trade aura for in order to to even afford it. Yeah, there it is right there, 135,000. So we could probably make enough that much money by the end of next Horde Night if we saved all of our money, or we could wait for the trade aura and then it wouldn't be too much of an issue at all. I think that would bring it down to like 90,000. Um, what we do need to do, I think, is, um, yeah, see, I've got a, there's a problem with this guy here. He is not selling the the blank aura book. Okay, I did recently look this up. This is the guy, he is supposed to sell blank aura books. No, he doesn't have one. He does not have an aura book. And he hasn't for a long time. I've been checking on this and I, I thought that I had it wrong, but I had looked it up. I made sure that I knew what I was talking about. He's just simply not selling it. So uh, what I'm gonna have to do is uh, give it to myself. You're supposed to be able to have two of these aura reference books. That's what it's called right there, aura reference book. I'm in, I'm in the creative menu right now. I'm totally cheating, but uh, I think that there's a little bit of a bug in my game because this guy's not selling it. He is supposed to sell this thing. Okay, just triple, quadruple checking. He's not selling this. So what I'm going to do 
is I just gave this to myself. I don't know what the value is. I don't know. Let's just like, you know, make it fair. I'll toss out $1,300 and we'll call it even on that one. Turn the creative menu back off and uh, we're right as rain, right? Okay, so this is used to make, okay, so we've got fire rate. I don't want that because it's just gonna mean burning through more ammunition. We've got the pierce. This is learning how to pierce through multiple targets with armor piercing rounds and assist others through the power of the pierce aura. Or there's armor penetration, learning how to penetrate armor and assist others in penetrating armor. I think that's probably the best one for us, assuming that the seekers are armored, which I am assuming that. I don't know if that's correct or not though. Otherwise, I'm, I'm pretty much all set on the rest of these. So I'm gonna go with the armor penetration book, craft that, boom, and we can use that. And so now, just give what order. happens right now i need to i've already made the blueprint i made that a couple of days ago along with the bottle of ink so i should be able to make a an armor penetration or a blueprint and i have everything i need for that so craft it and oh boy while we're at it we're gonna need some more doors some of these um automated vault doors which we're short on steel Crap. So start working on what we can for steel. And if there's any molten steel left, which I, I don't think that there is, uh, there's one left. Okay, so we're screwed on steel. We need to do some serious iron mining in the very near future. In fact, I might just go do that right now. Yeah, and we've got zombies here and they don't know how to get up, which is an issue because uh, we need them to come up here to get killed. So just get, get some temporary stuff in here so that people can make their way over. And um, I don't even know if they can make their way up. Let's just make sure that there's something for them to stand on and I'm out of shapes. Okay, let me go get the cobblestone and we'll do that. Oh, what is this? A rage capsule? It's just sitting on that guy's body. Uh, oh, does that start a rampage? Wait, the rage capsule will momentarily increase stamina regen, attack speed, mobility, and jump strength, and resistance to ailments. Huh, that's new. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just come out here with the cobblestone cubes and start filling in some of the gaps and making sure that this is at least pathable for the zombies so that they can come up and get shot until we can get some more iron and steel and craft up some of these um, automated vault doors that we need. Okay, that's everything dressed up and at least functional for now. We still have to put in the whole back staircase. Yeah, this area over here just gets completely pummeled. Oh, I promised that we would get the uh, integrity glasses and take a peek. All right, let's run out here and take a look at how things are doing. Okay, main building, not terrible. So in case you're not familiar, black is the color that you get when things are really not looking good. Like this right here is still not terribly bad. It's it's the, the blacker it gets though, the worse off it is. Yellow is basically uh, the, the step down from green. So all pillars except for that one pillar are still connected and pretty well connected if I'm being honest. However, most of them did take some damage. And so potentially having like the bottom three blocks, you know, 360 degrees up to steel would be nice. Although I am pleased to see that they didn't do a lot of digging down here. These are just like you know, honestly, this area here would be better off to have as topsoil than it would be to have as steel because the topsoil is more resistant than the steel is to blast. So I don't know. I, I do like having these like feet in, but uh, functionally it would be better off as clay. How's the police car looking anyway? Pretty rough. Let's just slap that back down. Yeah. So, all right, let's just get these shapes fixed up down here then. There's a lot of work to do and it ain't going to do itself. You know, briefly after the last horde there, I was thinking, oh, you know what? I've got this all figured out. These hordes are going to be super easy from now on. Uh, yeah, I'm glad I didn't say that out loud because uh, <laughs> that was a brutal horde. And um, I'm not sure how the next one's going to go. We really need to come up with a better plan for the Seekers. The good news is I could just have Dank or any of the other allies come down here and do all the repairs. And I'm pretty sure that they can repair things that are just covered up with other blocks as well. I don't think they have like the, the line of sight restriction that I have, for example. You know what this mod really needs though? Is it, it, it needs what these other mods have, like, you know, Undead Legacy and Darkness Falls. It needs something like Titanium. And what titanium would do, it doesn't even have to be titanium. It could just be like stainless steel, you know, because these blocks have, what, 10,000 hit points? Yeah, ooh, I almost just broke that block by accident. Um, 
Yeah, so maybe the stainless steel block has 15 or 20,000 and it's just, you know, a whole bunch more steel. So it doesn't have to be some new resource, just um, a further upgrade beyond regular steel. Because with Horde Knight Plus and Turbo, uh, it's just too destructive. You've got to have something that can withstand this a little bit better. I mean, we're only on uh, day 40. We've got like two, maybe three more Horde Knights to go in this. It's gonna be rough. However, I'm pretty happy with the money that we got, so let's go spend a bunch of it on some skill points. Speaking of skill points, I should be able to max out Iron Gut right there because we've we've maxed out basically everything except for Charisma right now. So whatever we want, we can buy. There's my Miner 69er, my sexy T-Rex. There's one into Healing Factor. I'll take a couple into Deep Cuts and Cardio. Take a couple into Parkour. And uh, with money left over, let's go a couple more into Healing Factor. A couple more into, oh, one more into cardio and then I'll spend I think now actually I will hold off we're gonna start saving money so tuck some of that away for the helicopter a little bit later all right pretty good up to level 9 minor 69 or 8 sexy t-rex doing pretty good on the dexterity stuff and almost maxed now on constitution couple more to go in deep cuts and one more to go in lucky looter there although I can just pop my glasses on and that maxes me out on lucky looter I think yep level 5 Nice. So I'll just wear the Lucky Looter glasses basically by default from now on. And now, let's just make sure that I have a repair kit with me and I'm gonna go do some extensive mining. We've got to stock back up on resources. We need everything basically. Who's coming with me? Or did you guys all seriously survive after all of the, the, the just horrible things that happened last night? I mean, Hobie went outside by himself. Dank got blown across the room and slammed into the wall. I think you guys had it pretty good over here. Jeez, man. Well, well, in that case, okay. Razzle, you come with me. Logan, you can come with me. You guys take a break. Holy crap. Let's hop into this and see if um, the ramp works at all and we can get out of here. All right, here we go. Oh, we got a wolf coming back up. Whoop, just crush him a little bit. And let's head to... I think we're just going to do the iron mine right over here. Yep, nothing fancy here. Just park it and hold on. Get the lights situated here. Kill that wolf. Take the bones. And let's get to work here. Yeah, I've managed to successfully open the mine. And by open, I mean collapse a massive portion of it. Pretty sure at this point, multiple screamers have stopped by and then been promptly assassinated by our allies up there. No crap. No, this I heard of. Gunfire. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Run, run, run. We got a backup ladder right over here. Just get up here and move out. Logan, cover me. I got you back. Good. We got a screamer screaming. Hmm. Um, yep, I think it's time to leave this mine. Oh, watch out, Razzle. Kill, kill, kill. Razzle, you okay? Got you back. All right. Oh my god, I'm getting hurt real bad. Get in the vehicle. Oh, there's a corpulent there. All right, don't worry, guys. I'm not leaving you behind. I'm just doing a little tactical retreat here. Gotta get some hit points back. And. Oh, crap. Oh, no. This is a Screamer Horde. This is definitely a Screamer Horde. Okay, I've got to get the allies and we're getting the hell out of here. I can't move because I don't really know why right now. I'm just very heavy, maybe. Let's go, let's go. Razzle's almost dead. Here, put him out. You okay, Razzle? Okay, we got to get out of here. Everybody come with me. Make sure they're not on fire. Where's the vehicle? It's over here. Okay, into the vehicle. Let's go, everybody. Goodbye. That mine is toast. Ooh, look. Seeker loot bag over here. Ooh, a couple of them. Oh, I forgot. There was all these loot bags that we passed by over here. Yep, just leave the bandits to it. Extra money. Nice. Okay, then. I think I've wore out my welcome at that mine for a couple of days. Uh, it's, that's okay. We, get, we gotta move over and get some more coal anyway, so we're gonna hit up this mine over here. Uh, did I hear... Ah, yes. This guy. Make sure that guy's taken out. He drops pretty good loot too, if I recall. Yeah, not too bad. Should be pretty close to the mine over here. Yes, it's straight ahead. This time I'll keep the soldiers on me in case we need to run away. I won't have to grab them. And uh, here, have another bandage or two there, Razzle. There you go. Do you need one? Nope, Logan's good. Fix up that auger. Yeah, we're looking at uh, 40k iron right now. That's really good. We just need the coal, and this is a primarily a coal mine. So come on down here. Also, <laughs> oh, geez, I'm a little bit low on frames. We're going to have to start doing the uh, 
the alternating trick here. All right, let's get to work. One screamer so far, no big deal there. Yet, another screamer incoming, cross your fingers. Yeah, we're so deep into the mine now that they don't even like jumping in. All right, so I'm gonna just go for one final tank of gas around here, getting all the resources I can, and I'm gonna head back to the base and put it all to good use. All right, that will do it right there. Oh, look at this, it's raining loot. Yeah, I think we've got the official all clear. So, okay, I'm gonna take all these resources back to the base. I will get them sorted and organized and turned into the resources that we need, like steel, cobblestone, and cement. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all and goodbye.